In today's video, I want to share with you zoodles. You know, zucchini noodles. Using these beauties, we can use them to fake out pasta. So when I have clients come to me or I'm working with folks, they will always say, well, how do you never eat pasta? So if we're living gluten-free, grain-free, or for whatever varied reason that an individual is not eating wheat or pasta anymore, or they're watching a carbohydrate intake, or quite frankly, just wanna get more vegetables in. All good reasons why you might consider making zoodles. So what we do is we take zucchini, and we're going to use it as a swap out for regular old pasta. Now I'm going to tell you, I think this works really well if you have a great sauce that you're used to making and, you know, maybe get some meatballs or it's a vegetable based, you know, uh, sauce you want to do. Any sauce that you have that you normally use when you make spaghetti or pasta before, you can use that same concoction and put it on top of a bed of zoodles. And these are super easy to make. I love making them because they're actually quicker to make than pasta. And all you do is you take your zucchini and there's a couple different ways you can do it. I'll show you how I do it in my home. There's really fancy tools you can get and I'm using the bare bone basic tools here. Um, I have a knife to cut off my zucchini ends and I've learned after making it a number of times that I like the texture of the noodle without the skin. So I go ahead and just peel the skin off the zucchini. You can certainly leave it on. It's not good or bad either way. You know, it's really your preference. If you leave it on, obviously you're getting more fiber. I'm taking it off because I find when I cook it, um, it doesn't replicate for me the texture of a noodle as well with the skin on, but that's a total custom preference thing. You can totally leave it on if you want to. I just leave it off, okay? So let's just say you're making a recipe for a family of four what you would want to look at is getting about four zucchini this size okay and you're going to peel them and then use this little tool here mine's called g-e-f-u g-fu i'm not even sure how to say that and it's a little spiral tool there's lots of them on the market i know there's one called vegetti um there's really fancy ones where you'll put the zucchini in it and you'll turn it i haven't upgraded to that yet i've been using this tool for a couple years and it just works fine for once a week if you want to make spaghetti and you're swapping out the pasta for zucchini noodles. So I have the zucchini ready to go. The thing I should mention too is um, zucchini is in season right now in Wisconsin and you can get these big bad boys at your farmer's market for a buck. Obviously this isn't going to work in here. So I look for ones that are smaller size so I can use them in my tool really nicely. I suppose you could cut this and make it work too but just more hassle than you really need. So I'm going to Grab the another one here and just cut it up for you. And like I mentioned, for a family of four, I would use about four of these. And really just depends, quite honestly, how many noodles you wanna make. But I'm just gonna do two of them here to show you real quick how it works. So I would just peel all that skin off. And zucchini is um, really nutritious. It does have some benefits. A lot of you know folks are like, ah, oh, it's a benefit eating zucchini, but it does have a good dose of nutrients in it. It's very low in carbohydrate. Um, it's a green vegetable. We like to get more of our green vegetables in. So we're gonna take our peeled zucchini and we just stick in our little guy here. One side of this has a little bit bigger space between the blade and one has a little bit smaller space. So we're getting a little bit smaller or bigger noodle. So you just stick it in one side. I'm just gonna do it this way to kind of show you. And then out comes your zoodles. And I'm actually gonna grab a little plate here so that I can just dump it right on there and show you easier at home. So we take it and I just twist it. So I kind of say when I'm explaining it to clients I'm working with, it's like a pencil sharpener. You put your pencil in and you sharpen it. And out comes your wonderful strands of zucchini noodles. So pasta is pasta. We can't replace pasta as far as the exact taste texture. At least I haven't seen it yet. But I gotta say, this is a really good substitute. So be open to it and giving it a try. Try it with and on without the skin. See which way you like it. All right, so I was gonna keep kind of pushing our guy through here and getting our noodles. Now, if you notice, the only thing that's a little bit, um, I don't know, maybe challenging with making zoodles when you use a tool like this one is you end up having a little bit of a nub at the end. And no big deal, what I'll do is just take it and I'll just still cut it up real small-ish. 
um, and make little pieces out of it and just dice it and whatnot and toss it in with the rest of the zoodles. So not a big deal. You're just going to end up with little pieces that can't physically get through the spiralizer. And then you just dice those up and put them in. So here I have the zoodles. Now what would I do with these? There's many recipes where you'll utilize these as a zucchini salad of some sort. They'll be part of a salad or they'll be the star of the salad. What I generally do with them uh, most often is they're my pasta replacement. So I'll take them and put them in a preheated pan with about a tablespoon of coconut oil and just saute them around for about four or five minutes. They don't take very long to cook. Zucchini is a vegetable that'll cook pretty quickly, especially when it's thin like this and go ahead and saute them for four or five minutes in some coconut oil. That's done. Put my sauce on it like I normally would. You know, uh, the, the tomato sauce and the mushrooms and the, you know, if you have a beef or a turkey or chicken sauce, you know, that you're putting in your red sauce. Whatever works for you, however you like to have your spaghetti, the point is you're taking that uh, basic sauce that you have, that delicious family recipe, and you're dumping it over your cooked zoodles. Um, storing them, I tend to store these separately. So if you want to work ahead for the week, you could go ahead and, and you know do this ahead of time, maybe a day or two ahead at most. And why I say that is because they get watery. And then they're kind of waterlogged. Not a big deal when you pull them out of the container if you made them a day or two ahead, just to kind of dump off the water in the container. Zucchini is a vegetable that packs a lot of water in it. So it's a very hydrating vegetable, but when you're making it ahead, you're breaking the cell walls and you might have that water release. Not a big deal. So you can prep ahead, you can save yourself time. Again, a time saver for a home cooked meal. How long did it take me to make zoodles? A couple minutes. You know, a couple minutes to prep them up and a couple minutes to cook them and they're done. So they're actually faster than making regular pasta. Now that's a bite you could sink your teeth into.